If I can't sell your house within two years, I'll buy it for free. And that's the Spencer guarantee. Real estate agents, am I right? <laughs> so how do you know which agent is right for you? How do you choose one? Well, today we're going to dive in and answer that question and we're going to have fun doing it because I have a real doozy of a personal example that I don't want you to miss. So stay tuned. in the Manatee and Sarasota County markets and specifically in my hometown of Parrish, Florida. And in this video, I'm going to share with you nine things to look for when you're deciding which real estate agent you should use. And before we dive in and I share a very personal example with you, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so I can continue to put out more somewhat entertaining videos that answer your questions about real estate in general, about the markets here on the beautiful areas and in the beautiful areas on the Gulf Coast near the beaches. So I think we can all agree that real estate agents are plentiful, right? I mean, you know as well as I do that there are probably 50 real estate agents that live within a mile radius of you. And we also know that your neighbor probably has a sister whose dentist knows a landscaper, who has a dog sitter, who knows a proctologist, whose nephew is a real estate agent. You know someone like that? Let's just say I know a guy who knows a guy who knows another guy. So how do you choose an agent to work with you that's going to make your selling or your buying transaction go as smoothly as possible and as enjoyable as possible? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. But first, I want to share with you a personal example of why I think choosing the right person for your need is important. So the story that I want to share with you today is not real estate in nature. However, the principle is very relative to what we're going to be discussing today because it involves you having the right person on your side that's listening to you, that cares about you as you walk through any kind of real estate transaction. So here's my story. About 2014, I lost a very, very dear friend who had been battling breast cancer for probably 16, 17 years. And um, she lost her battle with breast cancer. So it was very fresh, and very, very emotional, very hard on me. And at the same time, I had just gone for a routine mammogram. I had had them before, and this was just a routine mammogram. And the day that uh, we found out about her a few days after that, after my friend passed away with breast cancer, I got a call while I was having lunch with my neighbors um, that something showed up on my mammogram. And it really hit me because I was in such a raw state from having lost her and, um, and, and, and I was in shock. So I listened kind of to what the lady said on the phone and when I got off the phone, I, I told my friend Donna that I was having lunch with. And we just sort of sat there in silence for a second because I was freaked out, right? Obviously. And I called the doctor back immediately just to say, okay, can you run through this? What, what, what happened? And the lady was like, I don't know anything. That, that's all I know. Uh, you'll have to talk to your doctor. We actually are just part of the diagnostic center here that gives the mammogram, so call your doctor. So I call my doctor and I call my doctor and no one will ever talk to me. I even go by a few days later and just 
pop in there and say, is there anybody here? You know, I found out something was on my mammogram. I don't really know what that means. And I know you guys don't really know anything yet, but it would sure be nice if someone would just talk to me. I was in tears most of the time because I was freaked out like anyone would be. After several phone calls and messages, I even stopped by the office twice. Yeah, I was that person. No one would return a phone call. No one would call me. And really, I don't know that I was looking for any additional information more than I was looking for someone to just listen to me and make me feel like I was important, make me feel like I was being heard and that they were there to just comfort me, give me some sort of comfort. Well, that never happened. And needless to, needless to say, I never went back to that doctor because why would I want to go to a doctor if they can't even return a phone call or think that I'm important enough to call and comfort. So that is my story. And the reason it relates today to what we're gonna talk about, nine things that people look for in a real estate agent is because I think if you're gonna work with someone, whether it's a doctor or a tax accountant or a real estate agent or anybody in the professional field, you really wanna work with someone that makes you know that you matter to them, that they make you feel heard and seen and that you matter. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Now, I realize there are several stereotypes about real estate agents. Hi, we're real estate team Burton Blair Powers from Powers Realty. It's absolutely usable space. Maybe someone plays an instrument. So because there are so many varying views of what a real estate agent is or should be, we're going to talk about survey results from actual buyers and sellers across the country that were taken by various financial companies and some of the major real estate brands where they asked buyers and sellers, what do you look for in a real estate agent? What do you want in a real estate agent? So. I'm going to share their responses and then you can decide what's most important for you. Characteristic number one, they want their agent to be available, duh. So if an agent is so busy that they cannot fit anyone in for three months or they'd rather pass you off to another agent in their group or maybe on their team, then you might want to find another agent that has time to work with you. Now there's nothing wrong with working with someone who has team members. I mean, I've been in this business for over 25 years. When I lived in Colorado, um, we had a team. I had a team of people working with me. And um, sometimes we were busy on other things or we'd already made appointments. And so I would make sure I asked whoever was calling me that wanted to meet, hey, I can't make it on that date. Can you make it on this one? If they couldn't, then I always say, listen, I can certainly give you to one of our team members. I've got some buyer's agents. I've got some seller's agents here. I can send whomever. Um, is that okay with you or would you rather wait and meet with me? So it just depended on what kind of time frame they had. So there's nothing wrong with you being passed off to another team member or maybe another partner in that group, but just make sure you know who you really want to work with because that is what's most important to people is that they have someone that's reliable. So you want to make sure that they're there for you when you're ready to make your purchase or to make your sale and ready for you during the entire process of the transaction. Thing the survey said people want number two, experienced. Well, of course you want an experienced agent because the buying and the selling process as well, you know, for most people, it's the largest purchase of their life. So it helps to have someone who has the experience working with the many processes of the buying and selling experience so that they are educating you along the journey. They are anticipating any issues or maybe any concerns that may, and a lot of times do, pop up. And you want them to be able to offer solutions to any issues that pop up because those people, those real estate agents with experience have already been through it with other clients and customers because the whole point is to navigate you through those challenges as they occur. So like my doctor example, if they tell you you have a condition or a disease, the first thing you want that doctor to do is be upfront with you about what the issue is first, right? 
then you want your doctor to reassure you that he or she is going to be right beside you to answer questions and offer you solutions for treating that condition, right? Well, the same should be true of your real estate agent. You want to know that if issues arise during the buying or selling process, that that agent is ready to walk you through it and offer every possible scenario or solution to work through it. Thing number three that they're looking for in their real estate agent is honesty. Well, hello, that's a given. I don't know of any person that thinks, man, I sure would like to work with a real estate agent that lies a lot. I can't lie. Characteristic number four, they want their agent to be knowledgeable. Well, you wouldn't want a doctor that doesn't know anything about the human body. You wouldn't want a tax accountant that doesn't know tax law, right? So of course, it only makes sense that you want a real estate agent that knows their shizzle. You want them to walk you through the contracts. You want them to help you with the title information, the inspection process, any HOA information and documentation. You want them to explain the timing of everything, how you need to stay in communication with your lender the entire time, and you want your agent to walk you through the many steps and processes that happen during a buying or selling transaction because your agent's knowledge or your doctor's knowledge or your tax accountant's knowledge is what helps you reach your goal. And I always say that a real estate agent's knowledge needs to include their knowledge of the local market because you might not be from uh, where we are. You might be from another state. So you need to know what's going on in that certain area because you're relying on your real estate agent to know that local market. Characteristic number five, they want their agent to be personable. Now, this is probably subjective because I have met some customers that don't really care if I'm personable or not. They just want me to use my expertise to help them reach their buying or their selling goal. And that's totally cool. But for the most part, I found that over my 25 plus years in real estate, most people prefer to work with an agent that they actually like as a person and an agent that they enjoy being around. And that's how I roll. <laughs> I enjoy what I do. I like getting to know my customers and my clients, and I like having fun during the process because it makes it an enjoyable experience for everyone. Because you know, I want my customers to walk away from their experience with me as their agent, saying that they enjoyed working with me, that they would do it again, um, and that they gladly refer me to other people. So to me, that is a win-win. It's a win-win situation. I Characteristic they want in a real estate agent number six. They want them to be proactive and professional. So like the example I gave with you about my doctor and the mammogram, um, you want an agent that's going to be proactive. Are they really listening to you? Are they just throwing out sales scripts that they've been given by someone else? Are they addressing issues that come up as quickly as possible? Are they communicating with you? And again, are they offering solutions to those issues when they pop up? So to me, being a proactive agent is being a professional agent. Characteristic number seven, they want someone who's reliable. Well, to me that goes without saying, but you need a real estate agent who does what they say they're going to do. They show up on time, they keep you up to date on every aspect of the transaction, they get back with you in a timely manner. That's always a good one, right? Um, in other words, you can depend on that real estate agent to have your back, always putting your best interests as their priority and going above and beyond. Characteristic number eight, reputable. So again, you want your agent to have a pretty good reputation because who wants to work with someone that has a crappy reputation? Nobody. 
And characteristic they want in their real estate agent, number nine, they want them to be tech savvy, which in my opinion is a no brainer. You certainly need a real estate agent who knows modern day technology, am I right? And not just how to use their cell phone or maybe some of the e-signing platforms, but, and this is especially true for people selling their homes, you need a real estate agent who knows how to properly leverage every social media platform so they can showcase your home for sale. Now, in what way? Well, they need to know how to place paid ads that get your home in front, uh, in front of as many potential buyers who are most likely already on those social media platforms and you need an agent that can offer to you whatever tech options might enhance or help to sell your home for the most amount of money in the least amount of time. Now you may have other qualifications that you look for when you're choosing a real estate agent, so I would love to know those, to hear you, what you have to say, what your qualifications are. So please share those things in the comments below. And I cannot reiterate enough that it's important to feel comfortable with the person that is helping you. And again, what I consider to be a big financial decision like buying or selling. So I encourage you to have your own list when you are in your decision making process because you want your transaction to be enjoyable and as smooth as possible. And I'll also say that there are a lot of really great real estate agents out there who will do a great job for you. Yes, you know, there are gonna be some that probably shouldn't be in the real estate business, but for the most part, I think there are more good agents than not. So I'm not about to tell you that I'm the best agent since sliced bread. Um, and I'm not about to tell you that I offer some magic beans that no one else can offer uh, to sell your home or to help you find a home because that's just BS. So if you run across an agent that tears another agent down, talks badly about another agent. I wanted to see this house, so I'm glad that we're here. Well, the other agent's a total idiot, so I know we're gonna get a good deal. <laughs> Or maybe you run across an agent that makes you feel like an idiot if you don't choose them to help you buy or sell. And I sure hope that you would kindly show them to the door because that's not what a professional does. I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional. A true professional is able to clearly communicate to you what they offer, what they bring to the table, they're able to show you how other people have benefited from their services and then that true professional is humble enough to know that you are smart enough to make your own decision and who will be the best fit for you. And if you're in the process of finding a real estate agent and you'd like to throw me in the mix, wow, I'd be so honored to meet with you because at the end of the day and you know, probably at the beginning of the day <laughs> too, you want to know that your agent has all of the qualities and characteristics that we talked about earlier, the nine qualities and characteristics, and you want them to treat you the way that they themselves would want to be treated, and they make you feel heard and taken care of. And you know, it's okay to like the person you're using to help you buy or sell your home. I hope this list of nine characteristics most people want in a real estate agent has helped you and that you feel more confident in your search for an agent. Do me a favor, remember to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share your comments below. I'm Katherine Newman. I'll see you next week when a new video is available. Peace out.